you can see it right there. Heavy traffic. So this is going to be a very L.A. pursuit for sure. Uh, just coming up on La Cienega right now, that Durango using the center divider, pushing its way through this traffic this evening. At one point, when the, when the freeway was open, this thing was going about 80, 90 miles an hour. Right now, though, you can see heavy traffic this evening. No emergency lane in this area. So it's being pretty difficult for this truck. We haven't seen it hit or really get too pushy with the other vehicles so that's a good sign right now though california highway patrol behind it we understand that the helicopter that's over it may be lapd we're trying to get that narrowed down but you can see as this vehicle is trying to push its way through traffic right now there's the california highway patrol again this happening right now just coming and going getting out of the culver city area west la mid cities and you can see that car pushing its way through traffic other vehicles trying to get out of the way for the emergency vehicles, but this chase continues on the eastbound 10 freeway. <coughs> well, y they obviously they're always worried or concerned about uh, injuries and also damage to any of the uh, civilians that are not involved in this chase right now. So that's one thing that they're uh, definitely thinking about. The slower speeds, they might be able to do some sort of pit maneuver or bring this thing to an end forcefully uh, if they see that opportunity. Also, sometimes, we've seen it in the past, the traffic just gets so jammed up, the car, does the, the vehicle that they're chasing just got no place to go, just gets stuck. Uh, we've seen the drivers get out because of that, possibly run, maybe even give up. Right now, though, he's finding a little, he's found his little happy spot here all the way over in the right lane. Uh, but I can tell you the traffic that we're seeing is opening up right now. If he stays on the 10 freeway, when he gets over to the 110, it's going to really be bl uh, backed up. But it does look like we are taking an off-ramp here. We'll get you that off-ramp in just a second. Just passing La Brea. Well, that's right, and that's the concern for California Highway Patrol. That little jaunt we just saw right there, that's going to was just a La Brea off-ramp. If you guys know that area, the people that, a lot of the listeners, I'm sure, drive by there. That's one of those ones where you can kind of, it's got that double off-ramp. You have to both directions, but it's also used as an on-ramp. So he just used that to get, trying to kind of get by a lot of that traffic. Speeding up right now, definitely got, leaving the Culver City area, definitely getting established into the Mid-Cities area. Eastbound 10 Freeway, there's a little spot right here. It is opening up. That is for sure, but it does get really, really thick that we're talking about the traffic that is here if, if we keep moving towards the 110. Now, the vehicle, I heard them mention that it, it's actually registered to an address, I believe they said, off of Rose, and that's going to be in the, in the Venice area. So going away from uh, the area where the vehicle is registered to, uh, the original one, I'm hoping that our assignment desk can kind of clue us in on that. I know Mark's here tonight. Uh, maybe he's going to be able to uh, to do something there. And, of course, we got a bunch of other talented people at our desk as well. Uh, right now, though, speeds just a little faster than traffic. They're talking about 60 right now. And uh, still moving eastbound on the 10 freeway. California Highway Patrol in pursuit. SUV haven't seen it make contact or push its way through uh, it with any of the other vehicles this evening. That's good. That, but still... This is a pursuit. This person desperate to get away from all, for law enforcement. Heavy, heavy traffic coming up. Exiting.
tagging, and Venice, that's going to be a first for sure. We're on Adams right now. We're working our way westbound on Adams. Uh, he got off at Arlington, so we were, made, we, were getting we were getting very close to the 110 freeway. On Adams right now, heading back towards the Venice area. Uh, that would kind of jive with what we were hearing earlier on. They said they ran the plate, and the vehicle was registered to a uh, a, an address off of Rose in the Venice area. So that's probably the area where he lives in right now, or she, we don't really know. Tagging is, uh, it is, is, an, uh, is an everybody type of offense, I would guess. A unusual, that's for sure. Uh, California Highway Patrol is the one that's chasing them. They were on the freeways earlier on. Now that they're on the surface streets, they may hand this over to the LAPD, but I really doubt it. Uh, as they've been the ones in pursuit of this vehicle for the, for basically the entire time. You can see that uh, the California Highway Patrol moving up right there. That would have been a spot where, if it was possible, they could have done the pit. That was one of the reasons why I went a little bit wider there. Uh, but if these speeds keep up like this, they're not going to be able to do something like that. Uh, Adams right now, much better take than the, one, uh, than the 10 freeway. You can see how wide open it is. Speeds, though, they are picking up again. That's not a good sign. We never want to see these things get too, uh, too, too crazy, too fast. But uh, right now, this person still eluding the officers. We're making our way back out of the Mid-Cities area. We're going to be back in the Culver City area just in a few moments. That pursuit for a tagging suspect, that's definitely got to be a first. Using that center lane right there, looks like we possibly were running a red light. That's the first time I've seen him do that. So maybe getting a little bit more tense, maybe this person getting a little bit more desperate to get away, and that could create some more problems uh, for the uh, law enforcement. And of course, of course, we, we want to, we're concerned about any of the people that may be uh, just in the way if this thing comes to an end. Just past La Brea again. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. uh, nope, no. Yeah. Yeah, hard. He, he was hard on the brakes right there, just past La Brea. Very hard on the brakes. He got, he got jammed up. But you saw how aggressive that the California Highway Patrol is right behind it. This guy wants this thing to come to an end. And I'm sure he is uh, you know, pit certified, meaning that he is able to do that maneuver that will spin out that truck if they has the chance and it is safe to do it. He, he basically, right after he locked up the brakes, he saw that opportunity, made that move. And I'm talking about the law enforcement. Got up right there, but that uh, Durango moved off quick enough. Wasn't contact. I don't think he got he, the vehicles touched each other at all, but uh, definitely hard on the brakes right there as there were some tense moments or seconds there was uh, on Adams here. We were in the uh, Mid-Cities area, definitely going to be getting into the uh, Culver City area right now. La Cienega, the next major, if we haven't passed it yet, and it's going to get a little windy right there, so we're going to keep an eye on it, see where it goes. Uh, but right now, still on Adams, and you can see another large intersection, and luckily, a green light. We're making that hard turn, and I, if we're not on Washington, I'm, we will be on Washington here in a second. Yep, I, I would I would agree 100 percent with that. And it, right now, it, j tagging was what we were hearing, and that's you know I, I understand that uh, possibly there might be something other than tagging involved. There we go, here we go. Boop, there's a first touch. 
And look at this guy. He's really getting on the gas right there, trying to get away from the from the officers, really pushing that uh, truck. We're on Venice Boulevard right now. Uh, we were eastbound, then a little bit west. Now we're going north. I've got to grab the street here in just a second. But it's a, a La Cienega. That's what I heard them say right there. And it looks like if he's got traffic, that one officer is going to try to make that move. Here he goes again, just pushing it just a little bit. I got that uh, officer from the uh, California Highway Patrol got jammed up there. Another spot here in traffic. You can see that the uh, that truck, maybe not the all the officers that do those pit maneuvers have to be certified. This guy's starting to get a little bit more aggressive now, really starting to go against traffic good stuff. Here we go, coming to a stop. Uh, and, and again, just got to wonder why he picked this spot right here. Maybe he just kind of came to his senses. Tagging. Uh, so the, the original want some scary moments there. Now this person getting out of the vehicle. This is the first time we're going to see this guy. And uh, we'll take a look, and it's coming to an end. It seems to be peaceful. It, he seems to be a little aggressive still, angry about what's going on. But one tagger in custody after a pursuit that took us through the uh, mid-cities and West L.A. areas. Right now he's basically just uh, conforming to the officer's demands getting down on the ground. We haven't seen the cuffs go on yet, but I'm sure that'll happen here in just a moment. Well, you know, you, you, you always kind of wonder, what, you know, who these people are that are being chased. This time we knew who this person was, a tagger. Usually I personally would almost put that as more of an artistic type of person. Wouldn't peg, peg him for somebody that would run from officers. Thank goodness nobody else was hurt in this. And like you said, amazing driving from the California Highway Patrol uh, this evening. But in the end, this guy just comes to a stop. Perhaps he came to his senses after he realized how dangerous this was. Maybe when they started bumping the rear end of his car and he was losing control. Right now, though, one in custody. It seems that he's the only person in that car. This coming to an end, like you said, in the Pico-Robertson area. Crazy pursuit, and we saw a lot of traffic. Thank goodness, no civilians injured.